Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I want to talk about Tetris. You guys remember that Tetris game now? That game we used to play on this brick game stuff. <laughs> Tetris? Tetris. 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 I don't get it. I can't remember what the, what this game was called, but we used to play it on this brick game thing. And that time, I did not like the game because I did not know how to play it and I did not understand it. But who would have thought that a movie about a game that I did not like would have been such a great movie? Honestly, I enjoyed this movie more than I thought it would because I didn't like this game now. So if I did not like this game, it made sense that I wouldn't have liked the origin of the game. But honestly, it was not like that. It was a very, very fun story. Watching the effort or the amount of work that got into making this game a game for the old world, even though some of the old world doesn't like it. <laughs> but the amount of work that went into getting the rights of this game and bringing it to the old world was just crazy and amazing. <laughs> The movie is light-hearted, but it's also intense. It's light-hearted because of the kind of music they use. Very funky pop songs, songs that are fun, songs that you hear that will make you want to start moving your body. Those songs make the film light-hearted. And the incorporation of the game graphics, like sometimes you see some images like you are looking at a game, and all those things just made it not feel as heavy as it should have been. But at the same time, it was also intense. But the intensity and the light-heartedness, they don't contradict themselves. Because you might see some movies where it will be light-hearted and at some point it just gets intense all of a sudden. And you'll be like, wait, what, what's happened with this tone shift? Why is this happening like this? This is not the kind of movie I was watching. But that has not happened yet. Like I said, it feels light-hearted, then intense also. But it feels grounded with the whole story. It doesn't feel like it's happening in a different movie. It doesn't feel like two different movies happen together. It feels like the same movie. It's light-hearted, but it's intense. And the filmmakers just, I don't know how they did it. They just managed to blend those two aspects very well and just made the film so much more interesting. And the film is a comedy, so you laugh a lot. Not crazy too much. You don't laugh crazily like that, but you definitely laugh sometimes watching this film. And the comedy was not something I was expecting to see in this film. Like, because it's a real film inspired by a real story, I was expecting it was going to be a, a dark movie or not as light-hearted as, as it was. But man, the light-heartedness just add a lot of fun to the movie. Like I said, the comedy is not outrageous. It's not in-your-face comedy. There's a little comedy in it, and comedy just works really well with the whole movie. And the incorporation of the gameplay graphics in it is just another thing that, that works so well. I like seeing it. It was something I was not expecting, and it was just like very refreshing to see it. And it also involved some nostalgic feelings. Like It made me think about all those games I used to play. I remember playing Sega when I was younger, and Sega had those kind of graphics. And just seeing all those things again just took me back to those moments. It was so nostalgic watching this movie. The performances from all the actors in this film was amazing. Every actor in this film did a fantastic job, especially Taron Egerton. Taron Egerton was the main character. He carried this film. I won't necessarily say he carried this film because other characters had um, substantial screen time. So everyone got a chance to flex their acting chops. But at the same time, I just couldn't help but appreciate Taron Egerton's performance. You could see in his performance how passionate he was about the the movie about the role and he just comes out screaming and his performance and we embodied the character of this man that was going to do anything to get his game just made me get on his side and man i enjoyed Dan Anderson's performance in this film not just his performance every other person in this film was amazing man i enjoyed this film so so much and i can't wait to watch it again and the fact that you don't have to like this game to appreciate the movie because i've I hated this game because it was so hard and I didn't get it. <laughs> so I hated the game so much, but it didn't take away anything from my pleasure of enjoying the film. And man, I enjoyed the film so, so much. So have you guys seen Tetris? What do you think about it? Comment below and let me know. And if this is your first time on my channel, my guy, please subscribe to my channel for more contents like this. Thank you for sticking up to this time. See you in the next video. Cheers.